Okay, so I think I've probably found the best version of Linux yet. I've done so many distro videos on my channel trying to find the best one, but I think this one might just be it. Normally when you install Linux for the first time, it takes a good few hours to get everything set up. You've got to install all of the apps that you need. You've got to customize it. You've got to get drivers as well. And you might even have to do the dreaded troubleshooting, which can take forever. However, what if I told you that there's a distro out there that does all of that for you? It's ready to use straight out of the box. Now I know distros like that exist already, such as Pop OS, Manjaro, and Linux Mint. But this one is more optimized for gamers, so it'd be a lot more relevant for all the people that watch my videos. So what is it, I hear you ask? Well, it is Nobara Linux. Now, Nobara basically takes a version of Fedora Linux, which I'm still yet to do a video on, so make sure you guys subscribe and ding that notification bell so you know when that video goes live. But yeah, it basically just takes a version of Fedora, and it just makes it really easy for new users to use straight out of the box. It comes with stuff such such as Wine dependencies, NVIDIA drivers, and general graphics card drivers. And it even has some codecs built straight into the distro with no install needed. So in this video, we're gonna be checking out Nobara Linux and seeing if it's any good. We're gonna be running it on my low end PC and we're gonna be doing some Minecraft tests on there, seeing what the performance is like on there. And yeah, I'm really excited to test this out. If you guys are new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new. And yeah, without further ado, let's head over to their website. All right, guys, so this is their website right here. It's just a basic WordPress site right now, but they said the site is a work in progress. So yeah, here is Nobara. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. So yeah, there's a basic explanation of what it is right here. It's a modified version of Fedora Linux, and it comes with loads of stuff pre-installed beyond the basic web browser and office stuff. But if we go down here to bug fixes and improvements, there's so much stuff that's relevant to me. So there's stuff like NVIDIA GPU detection and driver auto installation, which is just unheard of on Linux. There's video codecs, there's Blender, there's DaVinci Resolve. So yeah, this is really kind of content creation focused as well. Comes with all this stuff pre-installed. Discord, we've got Flatpak, which would be really useful later when we install uh, some of our apps and stuff and games. All the stuff that you really need really is all baked in to a standard installation of Nobara. So yeah, let's go ahead and download it. I'm just going to go to download here. So there's a couple of different versions of Nobara Linux. It's up to you which one you choose. So there's an official version right here. There's a GNOME based one and there's a KDE version. So I'm just going to go with the official version of Nobara Linux. So yeah, I'm just going to go and get it from the EU mirror. And yeah, they'll come up with this little disclaimer here, basically saying this is a modified version of Fedora. Use it at your own risk, that kind of stuff. If you really want to go ahead and read it, then be my guest. It also says like they're not responsible for anything that you do to your computer and uh, all credits to like Discord and all the stuff that comes pre-installed in this distro. So yeah, once you've agreed to that, it should start downloading. Right, so it has just finished downloading. I've just dragged it to my desktop here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is plug in a blank USB into our computer. So yeah, we're going to wipe all the data on this. So make sure you back up everything that you've got on this USB drive if it's important. But yeah, we're going to burn the ISO to this USB and we're going to install it on our low-end PC. So yeah, let's plug this in. Okay, so I'm going to be using Rufus to burn this ISO to the USB. Okay, so it's just found the USB here automatically. There we go. I've just selected the ISO here and just press start. And yeah, I'm going to go with this recommended ISO image mode. And yeah, it will warn you that the drive is about to be erased. So just press OK. And yeah, just leave it to do its thing. I'll be back once it's done. All right, guys, so the USB finished and I unplugged it, plugged it into my low end PC. And here we are in the BIOS. So yeah, just select the USB so we can boot from it. Right guys, so I've just booted off the USB on my computer here. And yeah, this is what you're greeted with. I'm gonna go ahead and select Start Nabara 36. And wow, it literally just booted straight into the desktop here. Linux is quite common. It does allow you to kind of test out the distribution before you commit to installing it on your computer. And oh, well, OK, so this is the installation here. So we've got nice Nobara. We can select our language and stuff here. And yeah, I do like this menu, actually. Normally, it's have to go through every single part of the installation, but it's all kind of here. This is kind of like the checklist of stuff you need to set up and then you can install it, which is nice and easy. So we've set up our keyboard. It knows our time and date because I've connected it to the internet i'm going to select the ssd in here all right so i've selected my drive here network's already set up for me and yeah we just need to create a user and a root account so yeah that was a super easy installation i like how it's all sorted out here you just go through all the things that it tells you to do and then you just press begin installation super super easy 
All right, so I'm just gonna let this install and I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so Nabara Linux has just finished installing. So this is the little welcome screen that we get. Welcome to Nabara Linux 36. Thank you for choosing all of this stuff here. So we can install NVIDIA proprietary drivers. I don't have an NVIDIA GPU in this computer, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, we've got loads of stuff here. We've got recommended editions. You can install Blender, OBS, Discord, literally just one click right from this little welcome screen here. Now, the first thing it made me do was install like a video playback encoding thing. So I've just gone ahead and done that. So yeah, we've got this nice purple desktop background here. It looks quite nice. It would be nice if maybe it had like a Nabara logo on it or something or a different color kind of matching their theme. We've got a little start menu here with their logo. Go. so it's very like windows like here as you can see we've got files here we've got a waste basket we'll link to our home folder as well here in terms of apps and stuff that come pre-installed we can go here to all apps so we've got stuff like the package manager we've got firefox pre-installed which is good we've got inkscape we've got photos so there isn't actually too much that comes pre-installed as part of nabara linux all right, so my video playback encoding thing has just completed. Uh, yeah, it really does remind me of like Zorin OS or Linux Mint or Manjaro. So we've got all our kind of quick settings and stuff here. We've got our calendar and stuff. If we go to the settings here, this is all laid out nicely. It's all kind of logical and everything. I believe this is GNOME or KDE. I don't know. Someone will tell me in the comments down below. We've got dark mode by default, which is pretty good, I suppose, if you're a gamer. We can view our specs and stuff here as well. You can see my specs here. But yeah... <laughs> And it actually renames our device by default as Fedora because this is heavily based on Fedora. So to get software, to get apps and stuff, we can actually go to our installed area here. And this is all the stuff that comes pre-installed on Nobara. So yeah, there's quite a bit installed here. Most of it's quite useful. Like we've got some system applications. We've got loads of add-ons and stuff as well, which is good. But if you just want to uninstall it, you can quite easily just by pressing uninstall. I can just uninstall the calculator and that's it basically nice and easy so yeah let's go ahead and uh, try and install good old minecraft and see how it runs on nobara linux so yeah i'm going to go ahead and go to minecraft here this is the flat pack version up here we can select that make sure that's the right thing and yeah just press install and with one click we are installing minecraft so easy so yeah, I'll be back once we're done and logged in and we're going to see what performance is like on Nabara Linux. All right, guys, so the moment you've all been waiting for. So yeah, let's set up our settings real quick. Put our frame rates unlimited. Let's turn off VSync, the most important setting out of all of these. And yeah, we'll turn off clouds as well. And we'll also enable this as well because that's quite good for FPS. I'm not going to try and say it because loads of people make fun of me in the comments on how I say it. So yeah, let's have a look at our FPS. And we're getting... A solid 60 FPS which is really playable for a lot of people and yeah it's performing pretty well on this system as you can see we've got Mesa uh, Intel graphic drivers I think so yeah it's running oh, just under 60 now so yeah I mean it's all right I mean considering we're on fancy graphics and we haven't turned down any settings we haven't got a client we haven't got Optifine we haven't got anything like that this is pretty playable and yeah I'm quite impressed with the performance so yeah, let's go ahead and put our graphics on fast, turn our smooth lighting off, and also turn off view bobbing as well, turn off all of this stuff. And now we're getting about 90 FPS, just under 90, about 80 FPS. So yeah, this is a lot more playable now. Definitely feels a lot smoother. Let's try and play full screen. Does that work? Oh, wow. Full screen's made such a difference. Oh, did you see that? I just got 200 FPS. So now we're getting about 100. It feels so much smoother. I think this is a problem with Linux. I had this before when I tried to install it on my main system. Like It feels really kind of jittery in windowed mode. But as soon as you go into full screen, it's like, wow. Look at how smooth this is. We've got 150 there. Also, you have to kind of like go in your inventory to free up your cursor which is another problem I have with Linux. If anyone knows how to fix that, definitely let me know in the comments because it's quite annoying. But yeah, this feels a lot smoother now. And there's not a lot of pre-installed apps, probably not a lot of stuff in the background. As you can see, we've got not that many background processes. I'm not familiar with Linux background processes, but it doesn't look like there's too many here. And it doesn't look like they're taking up a lot of CPU either. There's just like one here, a couple like GNOME stuff for like the um, menus and stuff that we use in this version of Linux. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed with this. There isn't a lot going on. Let's go ahead and try the latest version and then we'll try a client. All right, so I'm just gonna load up the latest 1.19.2 version of Minecraft and we're gonna see how it runs on my low end system using Nabara Linux. So yeah, I'll be back once it's open. Right, so we've got the latest version of Minecraft running here. 
We're just going to make this a creative world here. And yeah, it'd be interesting to see the performance. I reckon 30 FPS maybe. The latest version is quite demanding on lower end systems. We can always use, you know, like fabric and sodium and all of that stuff to improve our FPS. But I'm not going to do that in this video. But if you guys do go ahead and get Nobara Linux, definitely let me know what results you get in the comments. All right, so the latest version world has been created. It has saved my settings from 1.8. So we've got like fast and that kind of stuff all here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and throw up our FPS and see what we get. And oh my God, I'm actually impressed with that. Wow, 60 FPS on the latest version. Okay, we're dropping a little bit as we're rendering in different parts of the world here. But yeah, that is really playable. I could quite easily play survival on this computer on Nobara Linux with my friends. Performs a lot better compared to Windows. If you guys want to see my performance on Windows, then definitely check out my old videos on this computer on the low end PC series. Yeah, this has improved the FPS really well. Obviously, yeah, throwing up your FPS is going to decrease your FPS. So obviously use an FPS mod or if you've got Optifine, show the FPS. But as a general rule and just in general how it feels, it feels really smooth. And yeah, I could definitely play Minecraft on the latest version using this version of Linux. If we go into like small windowed mode here, I wonder how much FPS we get then. <laughs> 200 FPS just casually. Oh my god, look at my screen. It's covered in useless information. Get rid. For some reason, the FPS has gone down. That's really weird. But yeah, we can also play in windowed mode as well. For some reason, it just feels really choppy. I don't know what it is. I mean, the FPS is still pretty much the same, but full screen feels a lot smoother. Oh, poor, poor villager zombie. All right, guys. So I've just installed Lunar Client. Let's go into full screen here and see what FPS we get. So as you can see, I've got the FPS mod on here. I'll just make that a bit bigger so you guys can see it. And for some reason, our FPS is kind of capped. And I think we might have VSync on or something like that. Ah, here we go. Max frame rate unlimited. And yeah, let's also turn off our clouds as well because they're so ugly. So yeah, here we are on Lunar Client in full screen with fancy graphics. And we're getting about 120 FPS. That is insane. We've obviously got lazy chunk loading as well. So things don't load in until we're like actually there. We even got 200 almost there. That is crazy. So yeah, this is really smooth, really playable. And yeah, I'm really impressed to be honest. If we go for like some really good FPS settings, like if we put like our graphics on like fast, turn off our smooth lighting. There's so many things that we could probably do. I'm not going to go all into it in this video, but yeah, there's loads of settings that we could probably improve to get our FPS probably even higher. I wonder what the highest FPS we can get is. Let's just try and like dig down. Oh, we're in a cave. That's that's not very fun. But yeah, let's just like do this. Look down maybe. 400, almost 500. Can we get 500 FPS on here? Maybe. Hey, there we go. 500. And then if we look up, how much can we get here? Not as much, which is pretty weird. What about if we zoom in? to find zoom oh come on then let's let's see can we get 700 fps these are these are really scientific tests as you guys can see it's only the best tests on the notre dame channel can we get 700 come on this thing's trolling me right now i don't think we're gonna get 700 fps but yeah, the bottom line is performance is incredible on here. Perfectly playable. I can definitely play on here with Lunar Client. Let's go on a server and do some PvP. I think the server of choice, as always, is going to be Hypixel. So let's go ahead and join Hypixel. I haven't been Hypixel in a while. So yeah, it doesn't look like much has changed. So yeah, let's go ahead and fire up a classic duel here and do some PvP on Lunar Client on Nabara Linux. And yeah, we're getting a solid 200, 300 FPS. We should be able to win this duel. Although I am pretty rusty. Haven't played in a while. I'm just giving you guys all my excuses right here. Hey, we won. Wow. So yeah, would I recommend Nobara Linux? Definitely. I'd definitely recommend trying it out. Before my go-to pick was maybe like Zorin OS or Ubuntu. But this is probably the only gaming focused Linux distribution right now. And I'm really impressed with it. It's only going to get better. And hopefully more distros like this come out so that we can uh, experience more gaming on Linux, which has always been a problem for me. I've, I'd like to switch to Linux if I could do all the stuff I normally do. But gaming and content creation and like, NVIDIA drivers and all that kind of stuff always put me off Linux. But this is a really good step in the right direction. So I'm really excited to see what happens with it. But yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. It's good to be back doing some more operating system videos on this channel. So hopefully you guys all enjoy this one. 
I've got quite a lot more videos in the works. I might be getting a new PC soon, so I'll probably be doing a video on that. And I've also got quite a lot of reviews and stuff to do on my channel. So hopefully you guys all enjoy them. Look out for them. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you next time. Peace.